Hello and welcome to AHS TV's Best of the Nest Home Edition. My name is Mr. Swanson and I teach English, TV, video, film, and media courses at Armstrong Junior Senior High School. This week, for their final vlog, all students enrolled in all of the production courses were given an open letter. Dear blank. The blank was to be to whomever or whatever they feel has most significantly impacted their time in quarantine since schools were closed on March 13th. Let's take a look at what some of them had to say. I was always so scared to go down to the office and I never really knew why. It was always just so intimidating to me, but that definitely changed my junior and senior year because every day at 210, I would go down to do the end of the day announcements and I was always greeted by the principals and secretaries saying how I always did a nice job with the announcements and how they were so excited to see me because that means it was almost the end of the day. And if I could do anything over again, it would definitely be the announcements because that was one of the highlights of my junior and senior year and I loved doing it. But I wanted to come here and thank the principals and secretaries for everything that they do, not just for me, but for our school. And that is Mr. Rummel, Mr. Kaminos, Mr. Callie, Mr. Lorgan, Diana, Beth, and Lisa. Thank you all so much. You all are amazing people and I'm going to miss you so much, but I will definitely be back to visit. Okay, this is definitely gonna be the hardest one, so I hope I can get through this without crying. But first, I would like to thank all my teachers, eighth grade through 12th grade, for everything that they have done for me. You guys have impacted my life in the best way possible, and I can't thank you enough for that, and I'm going to miss you all a lot. But now I'd like to personally thank some of the teachers that I was close with over the years at AHS. First, Mr. Swanson, you were always there for me. Even on my worst days, you always brought joy into the classroom and into your teaching. I loved your class so much. I learned so much too. And I'm definitely going to be back to visit because there's no way I can stay away from your classroom for that long. Mrs. Timmons, you literally have the sweetest heart and I appreciate you so much because no matter how hard I struggled in chem last year, you were always right there making sure I knew what I was doing, made sure I was on track with the lesson and you always took the time out of your day to help me and I can't thank you enough for that. You all are truly amazing people and don't let anyone tell you different because it's very true. You guys were the best class I could have asked for. I had so much fun this year, even though it wasn't the way we wanted it to end. In the beginning of our senior year, we made it the best we possibly could. And right now, that's all that matters. But I wanted to wish you guys the best of luck in everything you do. And I'm going to miss you guys so much seeing you in the halls of AHS. Don't wish away your high school years and live every single moment that you have left at AHS to the fullest. These past few months, I wouldn't have been able to get through everything that I've been through without you guys. You guys are literally my role models and I want to grow up to be just like you. That's exactly why I'm going to be a teacher because you guys have inspired me that that's what I want to do. And I can't thank you guys enough for everything you do for me. You've been so supportive th these past few months and just always telling me to keep my hopes high and to stay strong, and I love you guys. So you're probably wondering who those seven people are. That is my aunt and uncle and their five kids. And recently, on April 19th, my cousins lost their dad in his sleep, and it was one of the hardest things that I think I've ever went through in my life. And I just wish I could have been there with them. But those five kids and my aunt are the strongest people I've ever met. And it made me realize that missing your prom and graduation is not as a big deal as losing your father. And it kind of makes me feel stupid forever being mad that I was missing out on those things because I still have a dad and a mom. Um... The people that I would like to uh, speak out to are my parents. Uh, my mom and dad have been very supportive of me through my stress and my anger at school over quarantine. Uh, everyone can be stressed and angry. This is new for all of us. No one's good at it. I guarantee it. Maybe there is, but if then God bless you with these abilities. But 
uh, for someone to just jump into it, it's going to be new. So you need a great support group. And I have the best one you can get. Uh, both my parents helped me tremendously through my uh, online schooling so far. Anything I've ever needed or been stressed about, I didn't hesitate to go talk directly to them. And they helped me out. I'm so thankful for that. Other people might have not had that. I uh, wish that everybody did, though. Uh, I also want to thank all my friends for being friends. Everybody needs them. Uh, it's just nice to, like, have something to escape escape to away from quarantine. It's not really like you can just go out and hang with them anymore. So I've chose social media or video games to talk to the people I like and enjoy their company. So I'm very thankful for them, and they've helped out a lot also. And uh, I'd also like to thank, finally, all of the teachers that have just been understanding about what we're all going through. They're going through it, too. I'm sure all the teachers are stressed, too. But uh, they felt it, and a lot of them didn't load us up with work. They weren't trying to be real strict with due dates. Uh, I can speak for everybody saying that we're very thankful for that. Um, it's definitely been an experience, and all of these things are factors. Um, definitely something you won't forget, that's for sure. And, uh, but it's an experience no one should have to go through, but it's good that we're going through it. It's going to give us a lot of life lessons and, uh, teach us about what we need in our lives and stuff like that. I think I've got a good head after this and try to make the best of it as it lasts. Dear family, uh, thank you for, you know, keeping me busy and just making sure I'm doing the right thing. During these times, uh, I always keep my head on my shoulders and always keep me ground leveled by uh, telling me what to do and making me do stuff, which they don't really make me do stuff, but I do stuff. But uh, thank you for keeping me busy. Thank you for uh, always, always just making me be try to be a better person, work hard each and every day. Uh, I can't just do one thank you. I got to... Uh, I want to say thank you to all my friends at school, you know, for uh, all the great memories we've had growing up. You know, I wish it could be different, even though, like, school ain't my favorite because, you know, I like seeing you guys every day. But, you know, friends will always find a way to hang out, so I'm sure I'll see a lot of you guys after school. And uh, I wish you guys the best in your futures. I know you guys are going to do great things, and I can't wait to see it, you know. Time to be successful now. Time to, time to make money. Time to fulfill your dreams. Time to accomplish whatever you want to accomplish. Time to do what you love. It's up to you now. I want to thank uh, all the teachers that has helped us and guided us in the right direction and defined our path to be have a chance of being successful. I want to thank uh, Mr. Swanson, you know, for making this class the most fun class I've had over the last four years. He's part of the reason why I've wanted to wake up and go to school, you know, every day, because, you know, you know in his class you're going to have a good time and you're going to get work done. So I want to thank you for uh, helping us become successful. And uh, that's it. I hope everyone has a good summer. I hope everyone has a good, good last week of school. And... Uh, just continue to work hard, continue to work hard, pray, and uh, just keep keep doing you every day. I think there's a couple people I would like to say some things to. So I guess firstly, dear my friends, I miss you guys. Um, this has been really rough not being able to see you every day and... Archie, I'm still waiting on my grape juice, so, dear mom, um, thank you for putting up with me. <laughs> I've definitely been quite moody the past few months, so I would say thank you for being patient with me. Dear all of my teachers except Swanson, thank you to all of you. Um, I might not get to see you again, which sucks, but... Um, I've enjoyed all of you in different ways, so thank you for allowing me to be part of your classes, I guess. And lastly, dear Swanson, this is probably going to be awkward, but, um, thank you for being one of the most patient and understanding 
people I know, not only a teacher. Your class, and I know I can speak for everyone, has always been a place of, uh, I guess, freedom or a, a breath of fresh air in a world of calculus and biology and all the things, you know. You have always given us the ability to speak our minds, especially in a time like now. I think this assignment truly really proves that. Um, you care about what we have to say, and I really respect that and I appreciate that. And I know all of us do. So yeah, thank you for this. This is my last laundry chat, um, late night edition. Dear everyone, on March 13th, we were told we wouldn't be going to school for two weeks. We all laughed it off and thought nothing of it. That day, I went home, hung out with friends, and lived like it was just another normal day. It wasn't until the second week when I realized that I would never go back to school. I never thought everything would escalate the way it did. So to everyone watching this, this is for you. To my family, thank you for being there for me when I struggled with school and helped me when I was an emotional mess from wanting my life back. To my best friends who would cry with me for hours about all the things we took for granted and help me with my mental health and boy problems. To my teachers, I may have been the class clown and never really paid all that much attention, but you guys do so much for us that I didn't realize. I could have never imagined my life in school being ruined by the virus. So for everyone watching, do me a favor and don't take life for granted because you don't know what can happen at any time. Hey guys, so this is my final vlog for the year. And so my topic for this vlog is um, pick a person or a group or something that has had a significant impact on how you've handled quarantine because we went into quarantine on March 13th and it's almost been like two months. Um, I would say either my best friend or my boyfriend has had one of the most significant impacts on me while in quarantine. Um, my boyfriend FaceTimes me when, like, I'm bored or need someone to talk to, and so does my best friend. She came over um, for my birthday and threw me, like, a quarantine birthday and made a video of all my friends, so I would have something to do then. Um, I went to my boyfriend's house a couple times just to get out of the house, and we went for ice cream or we, like, hung out which has helped me a lot. Um, things are finally starting to open now. So I just went today to get my permit because I turned 16 a month ago and the DMVs just started opening, which is nice. Um, also, we're starting to be allowed to practice softball, which is gonna help me a lot just because all the fields are starting to open up. So we get to practice softball twice a week now, which is really nice. So yeah, I think just like the FaceTimes and stuff, even though you're not together, you can still talk to them and see them and like do schoolwork together and stuff. That's what I do when I'm on FaceTime. I think it's helped me a lot just to have some other human contact than just my like immediate family. And it's been really nice. I also got a PS4 for my birthday. So I got to like talk to people and communicate through that when we're playing games and stuff. So yeah, I feel like my friends and my boyfriend have helped me out, out like significantly the most throughout this quarantine just because they FaceTime me and we talk like we're in person, which is nice. So I feel like this will all come to an end pretty soon. Things are starting to opening, starting to open up and I think it'll be a lot better in about a month or so. All right, we're gonna take a short commercial break and we'll be back with even more of AHS TV's Best of the Nest. I did not know what I wanted to do my senior year of high school, as a lot of you know seniors do. Um, I went and toured ESPN, um, the headquarters in Connecticut, and I went in there and I was like, I know exactly what I was going to do. And I knew the best way to change the world was actually to do it through media. In communications media, I had a concentration of TV and film production, so I took classes like basic television, um, 
basic audio, graphic design, all little things that have to combine in order to make you know production itself. Um, I also was a journalism minor, so I specialize in public relations, which actually accumulated a lot of the stuff that I learned um, through communications media, and then combined it with the writing skills that I learned in journalism. So in that, I actually applied to the Pirates internship. Um, it's in community relations, which is a you know a side of public relations. Um, I work underneath the diversity manager. So what we do is we work with Pirates, Pirates charities, as long um, along with our BI program, which is a youth initiative. The best thing that anybody can do if they're coming to IEP is just be dedicated. Don't be overwhelmed. Dedicate yourself to your education, and it really will shine through when you when you graduate and want to go for a job. And we're back with even more of AHS TV's Best of the Nest. My name's Don Swanson, for those of you just joining us, and I teach English, TV, video, film, and media courses at Armstrong Junior Senior High School. And this week, for their final vlog, students enrolled in all production courses, were given an open letter format, Dear Blank, with a blank being to whomever or whatever it is that they feel has most significantly impacted their time in quarantine since schools closed on March 13th. Let's take a look at what a few more of them had to say. Dear family, thank you for being there for me during this tragic time and making it a lot better. Thank you for providing food for us every single day, for making sure the fridge is stocked and the cabinets are full of snacks, for coming home every night and making us family dinner or Sunday morning breakfast, and if not, going out and safely getting us takeout from our favorite restaurants. Thank you for helping us with our schoolwork, since our kitchen table has become our new desk. Thank you for giving me the nudge in the right direction when I'm stuck on a math problem or don't know what to write next to my essay. And also, thank you for not letting me procrastinate and making sure I get all of my assignments done on time. Thank you for keeping us entertained throughout all of this because I know myself and especially my little brother do not sit still very well. So thank you for having movie and TV nights, for spending days outside going for walks or hikes, or just sitting around enjoying a nice day. And thank you for playing about a thousand games of Uno or different card games. Thank you to my little brother for sometimes getting along with me. As siblings, of course, we have our differences, but thank you for still always hanging out with me. Even if that means that I have to play video games with you, that's okay. Or I make you make a summer bucket list with me. Thank you to my parents for allowing me to still dance and enjoy my passion. For finding ways for me to still take class and get lessons from my teachers through Zoom. Also for allowing me to take up the living room sometimes and rearrange some of the furniture. Thank you to my parents for still going into work every day. You're out there putting your lives on the line for us and taking extra precautions to keep us all safe. But it's 11.30, so I figured I would hurry up and do this now before um, midnight because I turned in my last vlog a little bit late. Um, so I'm trying not to turn this one in late. Um, but yeah, this is the last vlog and I don't know how to feel. Um, I actually can't believe that the school year is like over and I'm about to be a senior. Um, wow. Okay, anyways, um, the question topic for this vlog was, um, describe, like, someone that helped or made an impact on how we've been handling quarantine through COVID-19, um, and I thought about this a little bit when I was in the shower, and I decided that I would be talking about my grandparents, um, Mainly because they have had a big impact on how I've been handling quarantine, um, for starters. Um, I haven't been staying at home really much at all since this has started. Like, I was at home for the first, like, two weeks, maybe three weeks. Basically, like, all of March, but then, like, all of April and May, um, I haven't been staying at home. Um, I've kind of been staying at my mom's mom which is my nana is what i call her i've been staying with her and then i stay with my other grandparents on my dad's side um occasionally um they still work so they can't always like take care of me or whatever but i usually stay with my nana and they've all impacted my 
quarantine in a positive way, mainly because they have given me a peaceful, quiet home to stay at compared to my real home. And I don't know, they've just made my life a lot easier and a lot better. And they've just given me a place to be comfortable and be peaceful. So I don't know, um, they've definitely made a positive impact on how I've been dealing with quarantine. And I kind of am glad that things turned out like this because I just feel like I really needed like a break from just like how my life used to be. I don't know. Like ever since quarantine started, I just feel like I've had a lot more time to myself and to focus on myself. And my grandparents have definitely helped me have a more peaceful environment to stay in. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Um, once again, I can't believe that this is the last vlog and I'm kind of really sad that I didn't have any other fun times in TV prod except for like the last day, which was in March. Like, I don't know, I was expecting like to be able to learn a lot more. Like I didn't think that we'd be done for the whole year. So it's kind of sad that we kind of had to stop everything like where we left off, but it's fine. Um, next year, hopefully I will be back at school. If we don't come back to school next year, I don't even know what to say to that. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up all I have to say for the final vlog. Um, I guess I'll see you on the flip side, Swanson. This is really sad, but hopefully I will have you again. Dear Depression, hello my best friend during this quarantine. I have quite a bit to say about you and all the not so amazing things you've done for me. Perhaps starting with isolation would be fitting. You've made me feel more isolated than this quarantine could ever. I feel as though you make me feel lonely even when I'm talking to people. You've made it almost impossible for me to film these vlogs without making me look Which has resulted in essays instead of videos. Which doesn't make me feel too great. As is, you don't make me feel too great. It's been a while since I've gone a day without crying or feeling hopeless. You've made it difficult to get any work done or to even get up in the morning. The thing is though, even though you make me feel miserable, even though you make me want to quit, even though making me cry is your favorite activity, even though you exist, so do I. No matter how bad you make me feel, there's always the good things, like sitting on rooftops, watching the sunset, going on walks, creating dumb playlists, and talking to my favorite person. I can't control you always, but when I can, there's no competition. So stay mesmerized by making me miserable, but I will always end up happy in the end. Sincerely, your best friend. Dear Armstrong, thank you. I have five years worth of memories, some good and some bad. But one thing is for certain, I will never forget the memories that I've made here. To running outside for gym class, to learning how to drive and earning my driver's license to having deep conversations with my friends after Friday night football games in the school parking lot, to researching in the library for annoying book reports or research papers, to listening to the morning announcements or saying the Pledge of Allegiance every day, to goofing around with my friends and showing off my overdramatic side, to being spontaneous and living life on the edge, to all of the fun pep rallies getting us hyped up for the upcoming football game, to all of the home football games, which always gave me something to look forward to during the day, to the excitement of waiting in line to purchase my ticket, the whole time wondering which friends I would run into and who I would hang out with during the game, to the student section, which would never fail to give me a good time and to get me all rallied up. To all of the endless club meetings and the extracurricular activities. To my lunch table and all of the fun stories that my friends and I would tell each other. To the drama and the stress and the sadness and the breakdowns. Although you may not be good memories, you still are my memories, and you're the reason why my high school experience was so special 
and I wouldn't change anything about it. To finding a second home in the TV studio. To discovering a new passion that I never knew about. To being able to express myself through videography. To establishing lifelong friendships through a mutual bond of TV and filmmaking. I don't think I realized how much my life would change for the better after signing up for media literacy at the end of ninth grade. I don't know how I would have been able to survive high school without the TV program and without my amazing teacher, Mr. Swanson. It's funny how you never really appreciate something until you lose it. Even something as simple as beautiful scenery. I've gone to Armstrong for five years and I've never once just stopped and really looked around and thought about how beautiful it is here. I've learned the hard way that you just take advantage of these things that you're so used to seeing and experiencing them every day and you never truly learn to appreciate them until it's too late. All my life, adults have told me to never grow up, and I thought I knew what they meant when they told me that, and honestly, I didn't really listen to them. I just thought that that was something adults said, just so they could say it to kids. I never believed them, which I was so wrong. I've gone through high school with not the most positive outlook, and if I'm being honest, I pretty much despised school, and I thought that I wasn't happy because of school, and I thought that if I were to stop going to school, that I would become a more happy and positive person and I pretty much considered school to be the root of all of my sadness. And now that we are no longer in school, I have realized that this is not the case, and I've realized that school has had a very big influence on why I was happy. Being able to wake up every day and have the same routine and to see my friends and to be able to learn in a positive learning environment is something that I overlooked until I realized I didn't have anymore. Unfortunately, I can't go back and force myself to appreciate what I had when I had it in the moment. All I can do now is reflect on what I had and appreciate it more and use this as a learning experience to always appreciate what I have and to never overlook it. I'm definitely going to miss Armstrong and all of my memories, but Armstrong is the past, and now it's time to make more memories. Goodbye, Armstrong. Thank you. And that'll do it for this week's episode of Best of the Nest. As always, I would like to thank Chris Barber at WIEP-TV for helping us to keep this thing going by enabling us to air while in quarantine. From our virtual nest to your actual nest, stay safe, stay sane, have a good week, and we'll see you next time.